our Heavenly Father mercy and do it forever. Give me Colossians 317. And uh, what's wrong with uh, everybody, you know what I'm saying? We got to come back to learn how to raise our children right. So we got to start right there. We got to teach our children about the Most High God. How to raise them in the laws. How to teach them. Because children learn off of what they see. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the children see the parents do, they're going to uh, mimic that and duplicate that. If your child see you smoking, more likely he's going to be smoking too. If your child see you fighting in the house, more likely they're going to be doing the same thing when they get older. If they see you cussing and losing all kinds of profane language around them, it's more than likely they're going to be doing the same thing too. Read that, brother. This is the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by him. Right. So we come out here in the name of the Most High God and the name of his only begotten Son. And what we do in word or deed, meaning our action, what we speak, what we talk, how we deal on a regular basis, we do it all in the name of the Mashiach Yahweh Shai King. Give me Deuteronomy uh, 6 and 7. Because what we got to do is come back and teach our children right. We got to teach the next generation to be right because the younger women out here and the younger fathers, they are not doing a good job. They, they partying in the front of their children. They're getting high in the front of them. And they're just going to repeat and duplicate the same thing. But God gives you so the solution. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. God said you should teach the commandments diligently unto your children. Read. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in the house. When you just sitting in the house, you're supposed to be teaching your children about the commandments. Thou should not steal. Thou should not kill. Thou should not murder. Thou should not commit adultery. Thou should not be a homosexual. Thou should not bear false witness. Thou should not be an Edomite. Read. And when thou walkest by the way. And when you walkest by the way, you walking down the street. You ain't got to always have the Bible with you. When you're just walking down the street, you're supposed to be teaching your children the commandments. See how that woman dressed their daughter? You don't supposed to dress like that. You know what I'm saying? Remember, you dress in modest apparel. Have a long dress on. Teach them. See that, see that sister or that brother out there on crack? You don't want to do that. See them smoking? That's how you teach your children. Because children learn by seeing and what they're around. So they learn a lot by seeing and hearing. And whatever they're seeing and hearing, that's what they're going to duplicate. Read. And when thou liest down. When you lie down, before you go to sleep at night, talk to your children about the Bible. Talk to them about the Lord. Tell them what the Lord requires of them. Keep uh, beating that into their head, and when they get older, they will not depart from it. Read. And when thou risest up. And when you wake up in the morning, teach the law, statutes, and commandments to your children. And you'll raise profitable children. But now you just, you know, feeding your children, buying them clothes, but you ain't teaching them nothing. You ain't doing nothing for them. Give me a uh, Psalm 78, uh, start at 3. Start at 4. Psalm 78 and start at 4. Because you got to be teaching your children nothing. Just buying them clothes and feeding them. That's not, that. that's the easy part. You got to guide them in a way. You got to teach them in a way. Lead them to the path that you want them to go on. Lead them to righteousness. Lead them to the law, statutes, commandments. Show them. Take their hand and walk with them. Show them step by step. That's how you, you, you raise a child. You put a lot of emphasis on them. You just don't sit him in the room and give him a phone and let him be. He, 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 he come across all kind of wickedness, and he's going to go to mimicking that thing. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 78 and verse 4. Uh-huh. We will not hide them from their children. That's right. We will not hide these laws, statutes, and commandments from our children. We're supposed to teach our children the laws, statutes, and commandments. And they'll know how to navigate through life and navigate through the world. But if you keep them in the front of the TV and the phone all day, they're not going to learn nothing. All they're going to do is mimic what the TV and the phone tell them. Read. We will not hide them from their children. We will not hide the law, statutes, and commandments from our children because you got to raise them in order. Don't let the TV raise them. Stop letting the phone raise them because that's what's going on and that's why this society is getting worse and worse and more destroyed. Read. 
showing to the generations to come. Doing what? Showing to the generations to come. Because we got to show to the generation that's going to come. You got to show them to the next generation, and that generation show them to the next generation. God said this world, this world is going to be around forever. It's not going nowhere. That's right. Read. Showing to the generation to come right. the praises of the Lord. Showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord. Talk about the Lord and all the wonderful work that he did for the children of Israel. Talk about how he parted the Red Sea and they walked through it. Talk about it to your children, how he freed the children of Israel out of the hands of the Egyptians. Talk about how he freed Daniel out the lion's den. You got to talk about these things and show them and read them to your children. You want to read them a bedtime story? Read them in the Bible. The Bible got many wonderful stories in it. Read. And his strength. Right. And his wonderful work. And his strength and his wonderful work. Tell them that God put the sun in the sky. Tell them that God made the moon come out, the stars. Tell them about he freed all the 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 the, 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 the life on the earth, all the animals, the trees. God do all these things. Read. And his wonderful works that he had done. All his wonderful work that he had done. Read on. Verse five. Uh huh. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Cause he established a testimony in Jacob. Read. And appointed a law in Israel. He did what? Appointed a law in Israel. Because he appointed laws in the children of Israel to guide us by how we deal with each other. That's what you're supposed to teach in your children. Teach your children not to steal. Teach your children not to bear false witness. Teach your children not to hate thy brother. This is the things we got to do as a people. Read. All right, brother Shalom. Which he commanded our fathers. Right. That they should make them known to their children. That they should make the law, statutes, and commandments known to their children. Read on. Verse 6. Uh -huh. That the generation to come might know them. That the generation to come might know of the Lord and his wonderful words. They're going to know about Jeremiah and Ezekiel. They're going to know about the mighty King David and Solomon. They're going to know about Moses and Aaron. They're going to know about our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the ways that they walk. Teach these on to your children until they teach them to their children, children, on to the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the tenth generation, and so forth and so on. Read. Even the children which shall be born. Even to the children that shall be born. See how the most I get down? That's right. The law of the Lord is a perfect thing. So you got to teach the perfection to your children. You cannot lose. Give me a... Read on. Who should arise and declare them to their children? Who's going to rise? Who's going to man up or woman up and declare the law, statutes, and commandments onto your children? That's what you got to do. That's what you got to teach your children. If the TV teach them, they're going to be destroyed. And that's why this society is falling. That's why the times are getting worse and worse. Because why? The children are getting worse and worse. The respect is going out the house. They don't have no respect to the parent no more. It's no love no more. Because it's not being taught. You got to teach you and things. You can't just feed them and put them on clothes, sit them in the front of a TV and think they're going to learn something. They're not. They're going to learn what the TV tells them. Give me uh, Proverbs 22 and 6. You got to take the time out of your life to raise your children. Because this whole society is just going to be destroyed and it's going to be destroyed because God says it's going to destroy it. But, you know, you got to go to trying to teach your children things. Teach them how to work with their hands. Not teach them, let them sit on the game and play all day. Teach them how to go out in the yard and rake. Teach them how to sweep. The children don't even know how to sweep and wipe, wash the dishes no more. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. The scriptures say, train up a child in the way he should go. When you train something, just like you train for basketball, it's going to be an ongoing thing. You're going to have to pit work in. You want to be the best basketball player, you got to pit work in. You want to be the best football player, you got to pit work in. You got to train. The scriptures say, train up a child in the way he should go. Read. And we, and when he is old, right, he will not depart from it. That's right. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. That's simple and plain. 
when he get older, he's not gonna depart from that. Give me Proverbs 13, 24. When he is older, he's not gonna depart from that. We gotta teach the law, statutes, and commandments onto our children. This is the only way they're gonna make it. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, and verse 24. Read. He that spareth his rod. Say what? He that spareth his rod. Read. Hated his son. That's right. The scriptures say if a man spares his rod, meaning he's not whooping his children, he hated his son. That's right. Read that on the top again. He that spared his rod hated his son. That's right. He said, if you spare the rod, you hate your son. So God said, if you're not whooping and punishing your children, you hate them. Because when you don't punish them, they figure they could just do anything. And your kids don't, don't find you, don't see love when you ain't punishing them. That's right. That was it on that. Read. But he that loveth him, chastens him, be tired. He said, if you love your children, you chastise them, be tired. Meaning two times, double up on them. Give me Proverbs uh, 23, 13, and 14. Give me Proverbs 23, 13, and 14. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, 13, and 14. Uh-huh. Withhold not correction from the child. He said withhold not correction from your child. Don't hold correction away from your child. You both to correct your children. If you correct them, they're going to live longer, they're going to have a better life, and you're going to watch them grow and prosper in the front of your eyes, and you're going to have joy of your children. Read. For if, for if thou beatest him, but if you do what? For if thou beatest him, the law said if you spank his behind, if you beat him, read. For if thou beatest him with the rod, right, he shall not die. He shall not die. The Most High God say, if you whoop your children, they will not die. Right. You sitting there trying to be your children's friend and reason with them and negotiate with them, you're making a mistake. That's the biggest mistake we're making these days because you're sitting there negotiating with your children. No, this is what it is and this is what it's going to be. It's real simple. They don't get no decision making. You, they don't get that. We don't. Verse 14. Uh-huh. Thou shalt beat him with the rod. Right. And shall deliver his soul from hell. God said, if you beat your child with the rod, you're going to deliver his soul from hell. See that there? How can you lose? The law of the Lord is perfect. God told you, if you spank your children behind, you will leave their souls from hell. How can you, how can you lose? How can you get around that? Read on. All right, give me Ephesians. Go to 6, 1, and read it through 4. Give me Ephesians 6, 1 through 4. That's right. So the scriptures say, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he'll never leave off. He's not going to leave off from it. We got to come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments, and to raise the children in order. But now... The children are out of order, so that means the society is going to go more and more and more out of order. Read that. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 1 through 4. Read. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. He said, children, obey your parents in the Lord. That's what's wrong. The children is not obeying the parents in the Lord anymore. Read. For this is right. So, say what? For this is right. So children obey your parents in the Lord because this is right. Because when you obey your parents in the Lord, you're going to be keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. If your children don't know the law, statutes, and commandments, they're going to be lawless. That's what keeps the prison system moving. That's what keeps uh, this wicked system, oppression, moving. Read. Verse 2, uh -huh. honor thy father Say and the, mother. He said, honor thy father and honor thy mother. Them are law. This is the book of the law according to Baruch 4 and 1. Read. Honor thy father and mother. Read on. 
is the first commandment with promise. Is the first commandment with promise. 